Hi folks, today we're going to be looking at the Probox X2 EX Plus, which is a brand new Android TV media player for your television. Um, it's the same, if you've seen our previous review of the Probox EX, it's the same as the Probox EX except with four upgrades. Basically it has an upgraded quad-core processor, uh, Amlogic uh, S2 processor, it has one gigabyte, gigabit Ethernet and upgraded dual uh, band Wi-Fi and it's got HEVC upgraded video uh, handling so it should um, do much better job on the or a faster job on the handling of the, of the video. The actual box itself is identical to the um, to the EX so they've just, obviously just swapped in a a uh, new board motherboard and stuff but you can see the EX plus there to tell you that it is actually you know a different model. Twin USBs, um, OTG for e uh, external accessories like hard drives, etc. Micro SD or TF card, depending on what you want to call it. And on the back here, you have the traditional, there's the upgraded one gigabit Ethernet, um, HDMI, uh, optical audio, um, AV, and the power. And the external socket for the aerial. Inside the box, same as before, power block, remote control, the uh, aerial which goes on the side, HDMI cable, AV cable and a USB, micro USB cable if you want to attach any other bits and pieces to it. So again, very much the same as the original model that we saw before. Once again, though it's bundled with uh, this rather nice Probox X2 Remote Plus. Um, I believe that's, uh, that's now standard with, with the unit. Um, so I don't quite know why they put in two remotes or maybe this is just a special offer. Anyway, that's what you get in the box. Now let's have a look and uh, see how it runs actually on the TV. So as usual, you um, get to plug up the unit via the HDMI cable into the back here and with the power lead and the aerial slotted in and that's about it really. Um, these are USB things I've put in for uh, the remote control, uh, the hand remote control and stuff like that. And once it's there, it's it, that's it, that's set up. One thing I, 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 um, it's a bit strange is it's quite a long boot on this Probox, uh, Probox EX2 Plus. Um, it goes on and on for quite a while. I'm not sure what it's having to do. It's longer than any other box we've tested so far. It's a small point, but I just thought I'd mention it. Once the boot's finished, however, then you're into this, um, this Probox uh, interface. And we've said this before and we'll say it again. We really like this, this um, interface a lot. It's very simple to use, great for uh, the living room where you're leaning back against 10 foot away, etc. A nice, a nice UI. Nothing flash about it, but it just does the job. I'm using the Probox, uh, Probox to um, remote control because it's a wireless mousey thing and I like that because it gives you the ability to just flick around. As I've said before, if you're going to get one of these Android boxes, you really must get something like this, an air mouse, because it makes life so much easier than clicking around. In terms of the actual apps and, and things that are available, again, are very similar to the original box, the MX Player for videos. And you can add, of course, your own things here. Let me just cycle through using the clicker. And you've got uh, all these things are basically games that you can install uh, as Android apps. And here are the apps themselves. So this is what you get out of the box. Um, you get the browser, obviously, a calendar, Chrome, couple of games, File Explorer, and basically enough stuff to get you going. If you're familiar with Android, you're familiar with this TV box. If you're not familiar with Android, you'll need to learn exactly what your apps can do for you. But basically, it's all about playing music and video and getting internet, internet entertainment down on your screen and apps. So you can do all the kind of stuff you should be able to do with with your an android tablet or an android phone I'm just again we have cool little things like system updates which are done automatically over the air for you so you don't have to worry the first thing you need to do of course with anything is to set up your wi-fi so that's not difficult again if you're used to the uh, android you'll recognize the um the, f the facilities to set things up quite quickly because it's very standard let's just go in so here you have the Wi-Fi set up, 
and you just click on and set up whichever connection you want and from here again all the other bits and pieces that you would set up as part of your general preferences yeah so it's uh now it comes with 16 gigs on store of storage on board plus two gigs of ram again very standards exactly the same as the previous model nothing new you get as you can see there's a 16 gigs and you get about 7 point at uh, 10.7 available from for depending on how uh, the apps that, that you install but that's from standard that's out of the box one of the, the the other nice things that comes out of the box is a media box launcher which is basically a an alternative launcher if you don't like the the traditional pro box ui you can use this to be your launcher and it, it's just giving you a different way of looking at the material on the uh, on the machine or on the the device so again this is the app store and you can get all the things you need from here in a much prettier environment so yeah <laughs> and you can add your own things of course if you click on on little plus buttons and stuff like that so it's it's actually very cool to give you this kind of flexibility it means you can tailor it to your own your own requirements if you look at things like uh, Kodi again this is the updated Kodi and they've installed things already for you so that you're ready to go so for instance you've got podcasts already ready to look at, to listen to which I think is it's pretty neat so here I've got the GoPro channel set up um, which I've done myself which just gives you some stuff from the GoPro brand channel so it's it's <laughs> it's advertising their products but it's pretty cool there you go so this is just giving you some cool cool action camera kind of stuff but there's tons of these sort of channels which you can install into uh, into Kodi Greenpeace channel all sorts of things from all over the world really which are really cool to be honest with you <laughs> and as you can see the quality is quite good the upshot of having this extra power in the processor and and the upgraded video processing and stuff is you get an improved uh, benchmark score of 35,661. The original ProBox EX2 was a 31,000, so you gained a little bit, not a, not a huge amount, but enough to say that, yeah, this is uh, definitely an upgrade. Well, there you go, the ProBox EX2 Plus. Faster processor, faster video processing, Android Lollipop 5.1 and dual band Wi-Fi. These are the upgrades that you get. Apart from that, everything else seems to be uh, the same as uh, your traditional Pro Box EX2, uh, which means good. It plays well. It does. It does everything it should do. So well worth putting on your list if you're considering looking at uh, one of these TV boxes. As usual, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to the channel so we can bring you more cool stuff. Thanks very much.